Hello sweethearts, well I've got another black shrink wrapped box which can only mean one thing it's a vintage-ish but supposedly brand new vacuum cleaner that smells of the farmyard so let's cut into it obviously it's an Electrolux Contour Chic you know this because I put their description in the title so there's going to be no surprises here Let's hope, oh, it's got that familiar whiff. Ah, oh, oh, I've missed that smell. Let's hope that this is okay. I did have an Electrolux, well, I still got it. From this same seller, I bought an Electrolux Airstream and that was absolutely perfect. Apart from, um, no, that was it. No, it was perfect. Now, it was perfect because it was in, in its original box, not opened, and it was in a polystyrene box, and that polystyrene was shrink-wrapped. So that prevented anything getting into it that shouldn't have got into it, moisture or rodents. This one is a familiar tatty box. So we've got an Electrolux made in Britain. Product title, vacuum cleaner. It's 8 kilogram, gross weight. It's green. It's 1,000 watt max. And the product number is 906-19001-Z1435 Contour. Now, it's, it's a chic model. I bought, if you check back on my channel, I bought um, a chic cylinder cleaner from this seller. Mm -hmm. It's been opened upside down. Pictures were taken of this, and I think this is the one that's been sent the one that they've taken pictures of. I've had machines from this company where they've sent me a model that's not for the picture. They have more than one. I think this is probably at least the second one they've put on eBay. Um, I didn't go for the first one because I wasn't I was boycotting the company. I saw another one turn up and thought oh well I'll put a bid in see what happens. And we're going to see what happens right now. Okey So I think it is upside down. Well, it is. Not that I think it is. Now, I don't know the best way of doing this. So anyway, being chic, it's the same sort of British racing green colour. So it will match quite nicely, I think, the little chic cylinder. Again, this is an Electrox, possibly from the 90s. So, it's not a machine I've had any experience of because, of course, back in the day it was Hoover all the way for me. With the odd exception, I did buy one of the early Vax um, tub cleaners when I was really into Hoover, but only because Hoover didn't offer anything like it. Not until the Aquamaster came along, and then when I got an Aquamaster, of course, I preferred the Aquamaster. Oh good, that's all sealed up. There's the handle with the old... Oh. Oh dear. And despite the fact that that's odd, I've never seen that before. That's disappointing. I'll show you that. All the lettering's more or less rubbed off. Ah, oh, it's a shame. I'm sure it didn't look like that on the listing. Let's hope it's not all rubbed off elsewhere. Oh, that's... I think the contour is like the Airstream. I think they're basically the same. Oops, you can't see what I'm doing. I do apologise. Let me just get rid of this box. The box isn't bad, I suppose, um, considering some of the boxes I've had. So that bag's in pretty good condition. One of the original Electrolux bags. Obviously, you can still buy bags for this, both original and non-original. Ah. Not a reusable bag, they've stopped doing reusable bags at this stage. So you can't actually undo that. It says, caution, this bag must not be reused without fitting. Ah, oh, you can reuse it, but you need to fit the clip. I wonder if the clip is fitted to the bag inside the cleaner. There's the bag, so already I'm disappointed with the lettering. Here we have some after sales service uh, bits and bobs. From Aberdeen to York, by the looks. Um, plenty of places where you used to be able to get service, probably not anymore. 
Shetland even. Pl oh, plenty of places in Shetland. Hull, Inverness, Manchester, Liverpool, Lincoln, Leeds, Jersey, Isle of Mull, Isle of Wight, Isle of Barra, Isle of Lewis, Isle of Man, Isle of Arran. Well, there's certainly, if you lived on an island, you're okay. One of the Scottish islands, you're certainly okay. Or oh, Isle of Man, that's not a Scottish. Manx Electricity, you could get service. Bristol, Cardiff, Cumbria. Anyway, there we go. So here we have the instruction book for the contour. So basically, there we go. This was pro this is again. I'm not sure the date. We'll see if we can date it. Somebody will be able to date it for me. But it was around the same time, I believe, as like the Hoover Turbo Power 2s. It's certainly, I would say, it's a 90s vacuum from that decade. Right, fortunately the lettering looks better on the cleaner than it does on the handle. Well, let's open the handle now. Let's, sh let's move along the bus, go to this side. Where's my scissors? Now there is a chance, probably a slim one, that I could get a new handle for this, but I doubt it. I doubt it. There's um, a website I used recently, I can't remember, I think it might have been Buy Spares actually. Um, I'm not tempted to use them again. Mm. Well it's still readable, but you can, it's odd that that's, we well, see this is what age does for folk. It's still readable. That should be all gold. You can see it's come off, and I can actually see little bits of the lettering. In it's gone to dust. We all return to the dust, you know, even vacuums. Although the plastic bit might take some time. So here's the handle, and here's this. Yes, it's the same sort of thing as the. Well, that seems welded on. Ooh, there we go. Very, very distorted. Look at that. Yes, um, there's a website, Buy Spares, I'm sure it was Buy Spares, they ordered several parts um, and only one came and um, they charged me a ridiculous amount for posting this tiny piece because I ordered three items, I was quite prepared to pay the postage for the three combined but they weren't available, yet they were on the website as available and I was pretty upset, so even if I see any parts for a vacuum on that website, I won't take it as read that they'll actually have them. They don't update, obviously don't update their website. That's, as I say, very, very distorted out of shape, but you would be if you'd been stuck in a box all these years. So that's your two-in-one. Um, you've got your furniture nozzle that way, and you've got your dusting brush that way. Not as good as that uh, nice butterfly tool. So yes, it's very similar. It's so long since I've seen that contour, uh, not contour, the Airstream. I'm pretty sure it's based on the contour design. This is obviously a little bit more uh, basic. So, lovely racing green. So it is the same. No variable speed, I've noticed. So, let me just push that in, the hose. So it's more budget priced, obviously. That's a bit better. You can see a bit more now, can't you? Um, it's got same carry handle. Ah, oh, now good, it's a later version. I think my Airstream was. It's actually got a physical... Oops! <laughs> that was a light touch, that's all that was needed. Hopefully, hopefully that's not faulty. It's got a physical button. Now the earlier versions just had a textured panel here and apparently they were prone to failing so they changed it to this. Why Hoover couldn't uh, do something about their pure powers now I'm holding it rather gingerly because I'm not really too confident, especially at the age of the cleaner. And it's all right, but I'm not going to lift it like that. It seems very, very flimsy, the combined lower cord storage hook and uh, carry handle. I would not carry it by that. Uh, we've got the oh, nice round plug, look. Uh, UK plug. Here's the flex. Obviously it's unused. There's no, no chance. It's just the cleaners from this um, retailer do suffer from being stored. I mean it's amazing to get cleaners of this age. I mean it's not that old. But certainly you would not really get new cleaners. You'd, you'd get plenty of these contours on eBay. 
that have had a hard life, obviously. But to get one that's more or less new is uh, worth going for, even with the storage damage. Here's the extension wand. Oh, wondering if it's missing a crevice tool. Unless there's one on board. Let's turn it round and check. Oh yes, there is. Good. There is one on board. So you've got your two-piece, two-piece tube there, which lives on board in this slot here. Let's see. I mm, don't know if it's a specific way it goes in. I don't have to force anything. That's it. That sits in there nicely. I do like the way, same with the Turbo Power 2s. I don't know which came first, this or the Turbo 2. I suspect, well, Electrux certainly were first with their 600 series. They came before Turbo Power 2, I think. Pretty sure. Yes, I think they did. Um, and I like the way, you see, when Hoover introduced Tools Attached Tools, it was like an afterthought, because they, what Hoover did, all they did was just take an existing vacuum like the Turbo Power and Turbo Master and fit the tools on the side, which did look sort of like, oh yeah, it's got tools attached. At least when the Turbo Power 2s came along, they were designed to have the tools from the start, so they look more integrated, and that's what I like about this is the tools are certainly more integrated. Well, here's the hose, it's not actually attached for some reason. Got quite a short handle. It's stretchable, but I doubt very much that's going to reach up the stairs. So we'll be doing a, a demo of this. You've got the elbow, seems intact. I don't know why it's not on the cleaner, but it's clear so you can see, if it gets a blockage, you can see where the blockage is in the elbow there. So I need to put the hose on. Um, I'm assuming I just push it until it clicks. I'm always a bit wary about older plastic items, especially ones that may not have been stored very well. Hmm, I've not heard a click yet. Ah, was that a click? Not sure. No, it doesn't seem to. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to stay in there, but hopefully that will be okay. I think that comes off too. Oh, you can take the hose off. Look, that comes away. I didn't hear a click, so I'm hoping. It seems to be quite tightly in, so that seems okay. All I need to do now is just put, put the hose around the back, and then, of course, the suction end goes into a hole at the bottom here. Obviously, if you haven't got that in properly, it's not going to pick up correctly when you're using it in upright mode. So, so this is what I mean by nice and neat for the tools. Got the hose nicely wrapped around, we've got the extension wand, two-piece extension wand in the middle, and finally, of course, nice long crevice tool, maybe a little bit shorter than 30 centimetres, maybe 28, looks a little bit shorter, and uh, it says Lux, or no it doesn't, it says LU1 on it, so that fits on. Well, while we're on the back of the cleaner, let's have a look at the rating sticker. Excuse the slightly wonky angle, it's the best I could do. I, I can't actually read that <laughs> from here. Made in Britain anyway, Z1435, product number 9060190, serial 64601854, hopefully I've got that right. 1000 watts max, 900 watt NOM, 230 volts, 50 hertz. So there we go. I'm just going to pop the handle on, you need to slide it into the grooves and push it forward, I think. There we go, it's not quite in place yet until I do up the screw. I might be able to push it a bit further. I don't want to force it, of course, being the age that it is. Obviously it's not, it's not a vintage or antique, but you know, I think I had the same problem with the um, Airstream. It didn't tighten up, it didn't pull together until I tightened the screw. So I'll just tighten the screw now and then we'll have another look at this cleaner. We haven't seen the underside yet, have we? And of course I'll switch it on to check it works. Well, I've got the handle on, but I'm not very happy with it. It's not pushed flush home, so I'm not going to force anything. I'll look at that in a bit more detail when I've finished the recording. I've wrapped the cord round 
the, the flex itself doesn't feel <laughs> very good quality. This quality certainly dipped somewhat since possibly, I'd say the 500 series was probably when it started dipping after that. The twin turbos, they were pretty good as well. But I think really from the contours onwards, obviously quality dropped somewhat. It's still not too bad. But anyway, now it will need a bit of a buff. It's slightly scuffed from storage. I will be very careful though of buffing it near the writing, especially on the cleaner head, because I think it might come off if I buff a, too, a little bit too vigorously. Okay, let's take you on a tour from top to bottom and we'll have a look at the agitator. So here's the on-off switch. As I said, single speed. It says a thousand watts on there. This is where we can see. I'm sure I'd, I'd rub that completely off. If I was to put some car polish on that, that would come off. So I'm going to be really careful. There's no way I'll be able to ever restore that. I've not got a steady enough hand with a tiny brush and gold paint. There's no way I'd be able to do that. So I'm just leaving it. So that's just you have to accept things like that when you buy older vacuums. A bit further down, we've got this little area where... Oh. Now there's not even... I mean, there is a sort of button. There's a the little button underneath, sort of. That's, oh yes, you have to press that. A little bit tricky. Oh, to remove the bag door. And I see that it's got the dust bag in it with the dust bag clip. We've got piston operated a bag check indicator. I can see it on the back a bit clearer. That's how the mechanism works. You've got a little spring and that will fluctuate if you block the hose off. See if there's any date wheel. There is a date wheel in here. Let's see if we can see what it says. Oh, well there is. There's two date wheels. But unfortunately, I don't know if we can get them in shot. It's a bit tricky when I'm looking at it back to front. Where is it? I'll put my finger there so I can see. Can we see them? Oh, it's there. Just about, maybe. Can you just about see them? Anyway, there's two date wheels, but no arrows inside the date wheels, so we can't actually date it from that anyway. Here's the dust bag, and unusually, it's got the clip at the top. I did, not, I did not expect to see that. Let's remove the bag from the cleaner. I just assumed that it would be at the bottom where you'd find the clip, which is normal. But on this, I've learned something new today. The clip for these reusable bags is on the top. So that's a bit different, isn't it? Um, as I said, you can probably get bags for this, but I, ex I expect that they're non-reusable now. Any new bags are available. Um, original bags, if they're newly produced, they probably don't offer the option of reusing them. So it does, I don't know if it's a double or just a single walled paper bag. Feeling it, it feels it's just a single walled bag, which is odd. I'd expect at this time in vacuum history that they would at least have double walled bags. I mean, I think Hoover, I think it was possibly the Turbo Powers were the first to have double walled bags. I'm not sure if the very first Turbo Powers did, but I do remember quite early on in the 80s that uh, double walled bags were available. Made things a little bit better for filtration. Speaking of filters, we have two. A pre-motor and a post-motor, very close together. This obviously is pre. Oh, there's two. They look the same, but they've piled them one on top of another. Sometimes you get two filters or a filter with two layers, sometimes with a charcoal layer, but these seem identical. I'm expecting or assuming that they would have had two in. So obviously the motor. This was built by 2109. Somebody just out off camera shot, it says built by 2109. So that's the employee that built this. Obviously not the year it was built in 2109. In 2109, well, I don't think I'll be here. None of us will be who are watching this, or maybe you are still here. Depends how long YouTube lasts. Um, but certainly, yes, I would be here then. Oh, what a sad thought. Now, here is the, it looks exactly the same. It is, or, mm, well, it is, it is, just realized. I've never seen that before either. The post motor filter is exactly the same as the pre motor filters. Although it's only got three 
little cutouts in order to fit on the three little lugs here. There is actually a fourth one that I can open up. This has four. So it's the same. So I'm wondering, oh gosh, which way did that go in? That way. I'm wondering if um, genuine bags would, ha would have these in them. So obviously it's not um, going to filter out to HEPA standards, but the filtration on these clean air uprights was certainly better than the old Hoover Junior and Senior cleaners. Definitely better than that. So I'll just pop the bag back in. I think it just pushes on. It's a bit tricky to get on properly because it wasn't it wasn't properly attached. Let's try and uh, that's it. I think that's the way. Yes, there we go. You have to open it out a bit. Yeah, it's not a very secure fit, but that's on. It says the bag is made of unbleached paper. All right, there we go. That's the bag in place. Now I'll pop the bag door back on, and then we'll have a look at the cleaning head. There we go. So here we have the cleaning head, Contour Chic, 1000 watts. Again, I'm very dubious that this printing will last. I'm going to have to be really careful, even when I give it a, a bit of a wipe over before I put it away. So we've got a middle dial to adjust the cleaning height and for tools use. Hopefully you can see that despite the reflection of the light. So you've got the highest setting for when you're using the cleaning tools. Deep pile. Normal. Short pile. And, oof, hard floor. Well, I will be doing a test on this and I will test it on hard floor. But obviously it's a single motored vacuum and the brushes will continue to rotate. So I'm expecting a lot of scattering so here we have the foot operated handle release pedal that you caught a glimpse of earlier. So when you lower it, it is actually slightly raised up off the floor anyway when you're using it in upright mode when we're using the tools. So when you actually recline the handle, it does engage a bit further, a bit lower down with the floor. And you've got two wheels either side. There will be obviously wheels underneath as well, it's normally two. Now that's the other side of the cleaner. Obviously just a blank piece there. They could have made this a bit cheaper, I suppose, by putting the on-off switch there and keeping all the electrics in the handle. But uh, I don't think they ever did that. I think the, the on-off button was always at the top. Okay, let's have a quick look at the brush and then we'll turn it on, see how noisy this machine is. And then I'll be doing a full review and demo of this a bit later on, on my channel. So stay tuned for that. So here's the underside. I seem to remember Sam Watson actually got one of these, this particular model, and he refurbished it. I don't think he was too impressed with it when he first got it, and then he got a new brush roll. He had a new brush roll for it. They're pretty good brushes actually, They're pretty stiff. This is a genuine brush roll. I think the one Sam fitted on his Chic was um, a pattern spare possibly. It's an interesting shape of the base plate where they've got all these grooves. Not seen that before. And obviously here, the line of shame will show because that's where the belt is. Speaking of belts, it's possible I'll have to buy a new belt for this because, it, although when I'm turning it, it does seem like the belt is probably in good condition, but it might have stretched in time after all these years being stored away. So after Sam refurbished his Electrolux, I think he was fairly impressed with it. It did seem to pick up quite well. It seemed to groom his, his rug in his house. If you want to check out Sam, I think I've mentioned him before. If he's still on YouTube by the time of me uploading this. Uh, his channel is Becco. Oh, what is it? <laughs> I've forgotten again. Becco1986, the home of Sam Watson the Collector, I think. is his uh, extended channel name. A lot of you will know Sam's channel anyway. If you know my channel, you'll probably know Sam's channel. It's very good at refurbishing and restoring his vacuum. So, yes, it looks like it'll do a good job. Here's the uh, wheels that obviously move up and down according to the height you've selected. And you obviously need to remove this base plate to get to the belt. It says hook under. It's printed on there, hook under. 
whatever that means. So there we go, sometimes you used to get a spare belt, I think I did with my Airstream, Electrolux provided a spare belt, but not anymore. It's unusual now to even get a spare bag in a bagged vacuum nowadays, let alone a spare belt. Obviously a lot of modern vacuums don't require such frequent belt changes because they have toothed belts or belts that are supposed to last the lifetime of the cleaner. Uh, as far as edge cleaning goes, I don't think it's going to do very well. There is some brushes here at this side, but absolutely nothing that side. You might get a bit of suction. There is two suction channels either side as well. So there we go, we've seen the cleaner and I've just noticed a date wheel. So let's have a look at that before I turn the machine on. So here we have the date wheels. Um, this one says two and the other one says 89. So. I don't know if that dates the whole machine, but it certainly dates this particular part, the base plate. So this part was made in February 1989, so this could be a late 80s or early 90s vacuum. So all in all, I'm pretty pleased with this cleaner, apart from the lettering rubbing off. As long as it works, we'll be fine. So I'm just going to undo the flex. Seems quite short mains lead on this one. And as I say, the actual cable doesn't feel the best quality. If you check back on my channel, obviously I've done a lot of Electrolux cleaners. Um, quite a few vintage but new in the box machines. Uh, probably the best quality of the Electrolux ones I've unboxed so far has to be the 2020 Super Boost. I've done an unboxing of that and I did a brief demo. I didn't actually do a proper dirt pickup demo. Okay. I've set it on short pile, a bit creaky. I don't think it's going to have any soft start feature, but as long as it starts, I'll be pretty pleased. to be doing much to the carpet as far as grooming it's a pretty short pile carpet this I'm going to put it actually in the, whoops now see that's what I mean it's uh, yes it's got this it doesn't actually stay locked upright if you tilt it back it will actually fall down it's probably a little safety feature to stop it uh, from becoming damaged I don't know let's just put it on I'm gonna put it on hard floor because I'm a rebel that way I think it'll give me a little bit more of a grooming action on the lowest setting So that's just about the end of my unboxing and first look at this Electrolux Chic Contour Upright Vacuum Cleaner. I will be doing at some point a more thorough demonstration, putting some dirt down, seeing how this late 80s, early 90s vacuum copes with modern dirt. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please thumb up, please comment underneath and uh, don't forget check out my back catalogue. If you like Electrolux cleaners, there are plenty more Electrolux vacuums to look at. Plenty more Hoovers, plenty more Sebos, Mealers, all sorts of vacuum cleaners, carpet washers, and a few washing machines and dishwashers thrown in for good measure. So until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.